Take two. Hi guys! Today is a special day because we are going to be taking a trip down to Hong Kong. At the same time, I'm going to be showing you guys the step-by-step -step process of how I make a travel vlog from the start to post-production until we publish. So get excited. First, I'm going to start off with the materials I use. So I mainly film with the Canon G7X because it's got the flip-up screen function that you can just flip and then you're ready to go. Because I don't have audio, I just, I should buy it, but I haven't yet. So what I use is an iPhone. I use the voice memo application and then I record it with these headphones. If I'm in an area that's really noisy, for example, a cafe, and I don't want the audio to be interrupted, that's all the materials we need. So let's go on the adventure. One, take as much footage as you can. Just film everything. So you can have what we call in film B-roll and you can visually illustrate what you're trying to say or talk about and really take people, take your viewers on a journey. Step two, vlog. So we are heading to the metro right now. What's really nice about living in Shenzhen, it is just across the water to get into Hong Kong. About an hour commute, I would say, from where I live. And then you're there in another territory. I like the shot. All right, so now I'm back from Hong Kong. Actually, it's been over a week since I've been back in Hong Kong already, and this is the point of this video, is I am just now getting to the part where I'm actually gonna talk and put this video together, create a story, which is what I try my best to do with my vlogs, is really just create a story out of nothing, essentially. So what I wanna talk about now is my process after. You know, after I take the trip, after I take all the beautiful shots and really experience the area, how do I put that into a travel vlog? How do I make a story? And so this is my general process and my steps that I do. First of all, when I get home, I relax. A lot of times when you go out and travel and you're vlogging, it really exhausts you because not only are you having a great time and enjoying the area and learning and experiencing, but you're constantly filming, you know, you're running ahead to get that shot, you're trying to get everything perfect, and it's exhausting. So there's moments like these that you have to climb up and then all the way back down just to get your shot. More, a lot more exercise. First thing I do is relax. Then I go and look at the footage. Now I don't do this all the time. In fact, for this video, I don't even have time. But if I have time, I will go look at all the footage I took and then I research. The third step I do is research because I want to know everything. I want to be an expert on the area and see if there's any little hidden quirks that I want to share with my audience. Then I storyboard. That would be my step four in my process is I make a storyboard of everything I want to talk about because the main part of my videos is me talking and sharing not only my experience but about the area so you learn about it. I love to use a whiteboard and I actually write down my steps of everything that I want to talk about and I usually like to think of some sort of theme so being in Hong Kong just off the top of my head I don't actually have a a script or anything written up yet or even a storyboard but I'm already thinking I want to talk about some of the differences between you know Shenzhen and Hong Kong because Shenzhen is just across the border of Hong Kong and it's very very different it's pretty much being in a whole nother world the differences in the metros the differences in just the streets the views the people the food the whole environment the atmosphere these are just things I'm kind of thinking might be an overall theme to my video I want to research all the areas I went to and I like to put bullets and kind of write down transitions, you know, what do I want to start with first? Well, the one thing about my travel vlogs is I don't necessarily go in order and that's because I'm trying to create a story and maybe the first thing I did was interesting and I don't want to start with that first. I want it to kind of lead up to it and be like, whoa, so you're interested throughout the video. Once I've gathered all my information, once I've storyboarded and figure out what it is that I want to talk about. I usually pick a spot. A lot of times I use this room because it's well lit and I have good audio and I don't have to wear headphones. But sometimes I want to switch it up and I go walk outside, I go on the third floor, I 
go to a cafe. So it really depends on my mood and how much time I have. So once I finish this whole talking part, then it comes to editing. And that's really the fun and creative part of this whole process is even though I may have storyboarded and written down what it is I want to do, post-production can change everything. A big thing for me is music, actually. Music may not seem like a huge part of my videos, but it's actually a huge part just in myself and the kind of mood I'm in. The music that I choose generally is representing how I'm feeling about the mood of that area, maybe the morning I'm editing or whatever, and it kind of determines how my video is going to transform, if that makes sense. For me, this is my favorite part, is the editing, because this is where I essentially am creating a story. I'm like writing a book, and I'm just putting all the images together and making a short little movie. In terms of gear that I use, I mainly use my Canon G7X because it's so small, and yes, it's not the highest quality camera, but I like it because when you just need to film something, and you need to film something fast, you just you go. Versus other bigger cameras, I have DSLRs. I use them in this video to help me show you how I vlog. So if you're wondering why I had more than one camera, that's why. Those cameras are beautiful and they're great, but they do take a lot more time to actually set up the shot and make the colors and everything pop. Versus the G7X is just a little bit more tailored to vloggers to get the quick shot. When I'm traveling alone especially, I would just put my camera on the floor, on the ground somewhere, elevated surface, and then walk away from it to kind of give you a different perspective, maybe from the bottom or up above. Unless I'm with my boyfriend for him to hold the shot, this is kind of a necessity because people want to see you in your shots. Sometimes I'll even find little props like a rock. I'll just put a rock here so that it can be a little bit more elevated when I walk. I use a selfie stick for stability or to take selfies, obviously, so you can see me in the area that I'm in. The editing software I use is Adobe Premiere Pro. There are many other softwares you can use. This is just what I've used since high school. I have the whole package, the whole suite, so I can do After Effects, I can do things in audio, I can do animation, pretty much everything, and that's where I edit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, let me know if you have any more questions, anything you need me to clarify about how I make these videos. Maybe share your techniques, your styles. Everybody has their own style. If you like this video, remember to stay tuned for the next video that will come out right after this one. And it will be the actual travel vlog, the whole vlog I'm talking about making in this video so that you can see start to finish my process of making this travel vlog and then you can see the final product. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy that video because I enjoy making all of them and the whole process of it. So yeah. Remember to subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I will see you next time. Wait, really quick before I go, I just was interviewed in the Vlogging Success Summit, which is basically helping potential vloggers, you know, how do you start, how do you become a vlogger, and how do you make success by talking to a bunch of different vloggers from around the world, and I'm one of them. So if you would like to click on the link that I will provide in the description, you can have access to my summit where I'm interviewed for about an hour talking about my process and how I became a travel vlogger and then you can see other people's interviews as well. So if you're interested, sign up in the link below and I can't wait for you to watch it. Okay, bye.